For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the stretch in each spring for equilibrium of the two kilogram uh, block. The springs are shown in its equilibrium position. So let's find out what the stretch is first. So you know that L minus the original L times the constant is equal to the force that the spring creates. This is what is called the stretch, how much the spring is stretching. So let's call it delta L times K is equal to FSP. So we're trying to find delta L basically. So you know that the the block weights two kilograms so the weight is equal to 2, ki two kilograms times 9.81 which comes out to be 19.62 newtons so we got the constants right here we're going to basically draw the diagram at a we got let's call this fp let's call this fc and let's call this f d f d we already found it is 19.62 newtons so you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero so f uh, f d minus w is equal to zero that's how we know that f w is equal to f d that's how we know that f d is equal to that now f d is equal to k times delta l which is a stretch since k is 40 and this is 19.62 19.62 is equal to 40 times delta l So delta L, which is a stretch, is equal to 0 0.4905 meters. That's a stretch of a D spring. Now, you know that this is equal to 3 and this is equal to 4. So let's call this angle theta. You know that theta is equal to the tangent inverse of the opposite over the adjacent, which is 3 over 4, because you know that from here to here is 3, it's given right here. So theta is 36.9 degrees. Now let's call this angle alpha, I believe that is, and it's equal to tangent inverse of 3 over 3, which is equal to 40. 5 degrees this is degrees this is not 90 so we got these two angles already so you know that sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero so you know that minus f c cosine of this angle which we have plus f b cosine of theta is equal to zero so you know that negative 0 0.707 fc plus 0.8 fb is equal to zero then we know that let me go over here some of the forces in the y right here in the a is equal to zero so fc sine of this angle which will be the y component of this force plus f b sine of theta which will be the y component of this force minus the weight creates a 19.62 force going down is equal to zero so basically this is point seven oh seven f c plus 0.6 fb is equal to 19.62. So 
So let's call this equation one. I'm gonna rewrite, this is a point right here. I'm gonna rewrite equation one right here, negative 0.707 fc plus 0.8 fb is equal to zero. So you add these two equations together, fc cancels out and you get 1.4 fb is equal to 19.62. So fb is equal to 14 newtons. Since we got fb, you know that fb is equal to k a b times the stretch so the stretch of b comes out to be f a b which is 14 divided by the stretch which is also 30 so the stretch of b what did I put? the stretch of b comes out to be 0.467 meters And now that we have FB, we can plug it into, let's say here, formula one. So you plug this 14 right here. And you can solve for FC, and you're gonna get that FC is equal to 15.84. And again, FC is equal to KAC times the stretch of AC. So 15.84 is equal to 20 Newton per meter times the stretch so the stretch of AC comes out to be 0.792 meters so basically what we did is uh, we solve for all the forces you do in the sum of the X and the sum of the Y right here at A then when we got each other forces you divide it by the constant of the springs to get the stretch so final answer for the stretch of b final answer for the stretch of c and final answer for the stretch of d please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you